Hello, YouTube. Hi, everybody. What's going on, everybody? I am Ed. And I'm Tom, the old man. Yes, Otherwise known is. as Dad or Mike or, you know, anything. At work, they call me dumbass. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> You're... Oh, wait. Okay, we passed the 30-second mark. You're actually good. You can swear. You can swear. You're safe. You're safe. Um, okay, so we are here for another Thursday stream. Thank you all so much for being with us. And this is a very special night for me because I'm up well past my bedtime <laughs> and I get to drink whiskey with my son. So this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> it has been forever since you've been on the show. It's been a while. There's a lot of new subscribers who have never seen my face never seen and your who face. are going to burn this out of their memory as soon as they can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's funny because we really haven't been shooting with you right. because of the whole COVID thing and social distancing. This is the first time you, we've been in person, like here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Doing a street. A long time. In a long yeah. time. And all the comments right now are, where's the cute one? Exactly. Well, yeah. <laughs> Erica's um, not here right now. But. We invited Erica. I told Erica to come on because she's going to want to drink oh, yeah. this cool old Fitz. But she said it would be way too uncomfortable to sit like three abreast at our little table here yeah. she said she didn't want to sit here for an hour so she is in the comments moderating right now rock on erica that's going to be important for later too oh, very much so because and why? well because we're doing a giveaway <laughs> no. we're doing a giveaway tonight yes okay. two people are going to come away with samples of this little guy right here what is this little guy this is a pint a half pint, a half pint? A half pint of old fitzgerald bottled Sometime we believe between 1965 and 67. Yeah, 67. And then we'll tell you how we dated that. Yep. I, I tried to date this bottle initially. I mean, you know, the chocolates, the flowers, <laughs> the sweet lines. It just didn't work. It didn't. It so I had to get on, I had no. It just sat there. <laughs> so I had to get on the inner tube and say, "How do you date a bottle of whiskey?" Right. And I was doing it all wrong. Yeah. Oh my god. I believe it. Yeah. Um. So yes. So the first we're going to give away. Two, two samples. The yep. first one is going to go to our good, wonderful friends on our Patreon. Good. Second yes. sample is going to go to you, the people in the chat. So Erica is going to be taking care of uh, watching the comments. When we get to that point right. in the night where we're giving it to the people in the chat, she is going to be in charge of watching the comments, making sure everyone gets entered. Okay. Because StreamYard sucks when it comes <laughs> to making sure we see all the comments. That's true. Yeah, it we, we sucks. just saw that. It earlier. absolutely sucks. We were looking at people like I was looking at my phone, seeing when people were commenting, <laughs> and we weren't getting them on StreamYard. And then, boom. <laughs> yeah. So we're not even going to bother trying to do it on StreamYard. Erica is going to set the time for the beginning of the for the beginning of the giveaway sure. and the end of the giveaway. All you and I are going to do is pick a random number, look at the Google Doc, and tell you who won. That's good, because I've given up on doing most things. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But first, before we get into all that, we do have to say hi to everyone who's in the chat, or at least as many Ooh. as we can run through real quick. So we got Mike Cook. We got Emily Chambers, Cheech Artelino. I'm sure Jen is somewhere around here as well. Hey, guys. Uh, JJ, what's going on? Donald Rance, Robert Rees. Oh, there's Jen. Hey, Jen. How you doing? <laughs> awesome people, the Artelinos. Sugar Kitty. So good to see you. Erica Coleman, thank you for wrenching for us tonight. Oh, for sure. Uh, Tim Evans. Beth Higgins, wonderful person. She was just talking about the uh, history video, of the history of Old Fitz we yeah. did today. All right. Uh, no. We'll talk a little bit about that, too. <laughs> uh, Eric Parnham. Edward Fulmer, good to see you, buddy. Good name. Uh, excellent name. <laughs> uh, Nick P... Gary White, Trev Wilson, the official wrench, everyone's wrench. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm Mateo. And who else? Amy Bohm. Uh, Floyd. I think I already said Gary White. Jeff Griffin, what's going on? Andrew Buchanan. I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone. I'm really sorry. I blame StreamYard for eating your comment. But I think I got most of the people who are in chat right now. I will try to say hello to folks as you come in. Now, now you've got all your people. I'm looking for my people, which is one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for Tim Lassa. If you're out there, Tim, oh, hey, hi. And go subscribe to Cocktail and Eat. Go, go subscribe right now. That's awesome. 
Um, I gotta, I gotta tell you, Tim is the guy who found this bottle. Mm -hmm. And I, I, don't, I don't know that I remember the whole story, but I think it was up in the cabin. I think it was his uncle's. I think that, you know, they didn't drink it for whatever reason, because it was tiny and, you know, they're big drinkers. I don't know. <laughs> Just waving at people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Tim brought this to us. All right. And, and I didn't know what we had. I mm -hmm. just thought it was an old Fitzgerald. I'm thinking, you know, run of the mill after the fact. Right. Heaven Hills. And yeah, uh, we sat down at Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Eddie and Erica came over and I said, oh, I've got this bottle. Tim said we should open it and we should, you know, test it and taste it and do a review of it. Like yep. we often do. We sometimes do. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we just drink to get drunk. But yeah, and then I hand the bottle to Eddie and then you noticed. Yeah. That it was a different kind of bottle. It's right. a special bottle. Yeah, because when you look at this bottle, the, the first thing that, you know, if you know whiskey that stands out to you is the Stitzel Weller label on the top and on the bottom here underneath the Fitzgerald. My reading and vocabulistics is not that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was a sign. Right away, I was like, oh, this is... Because at first, like you, I was just like, oh, it's Mo Fitzgerald. That'll be fun to drink. Like... Right. What, so maybe into some 90s Fitzgerald? That'll be fun. That'll be yeah, fun. Yeah. But no, this is, we figured out this is some of the original stuff. Right. Yeah. Right, right. This comes from Pappy's yeah. day. Pa yeah. This was distilled under Pappy Van During Winkle. During his tenure. The original yeah. Julian Van Winkle. Right. Yeah. Um, so we ended up buying it off of Tim. Right. I'm not going to say the price because that seems gauche. Oh, yeah. Too, too. But I will, if you want to figure out how much these things tend to cost, you can always go online and search for like 1960s old fits. I will this say. This is an eight year, a little more yes. peculiar. This is a very peculiar bottle. Yes. We'll get into why. <laughs> this is a super weird bottle. So, yeah, and you we'll, won't, we'll you won't find about many of these. You'll find the seven year olds, you'll mm -hmm. find the six year olds, you'll find the primes. And you'll find some very old bottled and bond ones. Right, which is the 100 proof one. Right. And this one's the 86 proof. 86.8. Okay. Yeah. But you'll find all those others pretty readily. You won't find this one. Correct. Which this is one, why we had a hard time yeah. figuring out where this actually fell. This one is crazy weird and from like a very specific time period. So we'll talk, we'll talk about why. Cocktail is saying, if we like this, we make it down to Louisville, he'll have to show us a place that sells pours of bottles like this. That sounds awesome, mm. dude. I'll definitely have to take you up on that. Uh, Stanley Wagner says, how did we get Dr. Drew on our live tonight? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, someone else was saying you look like Ryan Reynolds, which is a little bit more appealing. Wow, okay. Yeah, someone in our comments was saying you look like Ryan Reynolds in an old video. Yeah. Um, Who knew? Yeah. So, anyway, why don't we talk? Well, we let's talk a little bit about the history, right? Because okay. that'll kind of lead, lead into how we figured out when this was from. So, if we go watch the old Fitz history video that I put up today, that'll be a little bit more in depth. Oh, completely more. Because. Um, I'm not going to remember anything. <laughs> I watched it like six times and I'm like... <laughs> I know, right? That's what Beth Higgins, Beth Higgins was saying that um, there's a lot of information. She, she watched the video and she drank a bunch of whiskey and forgot everything she, she learned. <laughs> now, yeah, we could give you the video. We can talk about it tonight. But I got to tell you, there's a book out, mm -hmm. which is phenomenal. It's uh, Sally... Sally Van Winkle, Winkle Campbell. Campbell, that's it. Yes. She's got a book. It uh, walks through the whole distillery, the whole history of the Van Winkles and how everything came to be and what happened and blah, blah, blah. I bought the book and I didn't have time to read it. So I put it under my pillow thinking, you know, through osmosis, you know, the information would leach into my head. But you know what happened? The book is way smarter than me. It pulled all my information into the book and now it can fix computers and I got nothing. So... That's, figure. that's the danger. That's I know, the danger right? of learning the quick way. Uh, Patrick Fulmer, my dude. Yes. Look at look at him. Look at him. He's back. He's back. He's back for a big one. Uh, Gorama got my dude. All right. Hey, and there's your guy. I That's the guy. That's Tim the guy who got the that, bottle. That's him, Mr. Lassa. There How we are. are. That's awesome. Um, And Bourbon Baller. That's the first time I've seen that name. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Good to see you. I'm not going to ask yeah. about that name. I'm just going to go with it. Yeah. I mean, he <laughs> balls and he likes bourbon. What do I know? 
Uh, and Edward Furman was saying Stitzel Weller sounds like a prog rock band from the early 70s. Oh, I like that, yeah. I do. St- oh, we should, go, we should start a band called Stitzel and the Wellers. Stitzel and the Wellers. Okay. But yeah, let's get into history. So this is kind of fun. Then this is something I didn't know about old fits. Which when I we knew started. immediately. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but I, I'm old German. I'm from Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> so were you were you alive when, when this company was around? When this company was still operating? I don't think so. It was sold no. back in the 30s. Okay. Yeah, so no. No, it wouldn't have been. No, the, the thing is, this brand originated up in Milwaukee. Yeah, it, um, it did. Yeah, a guy which named is Herbst. Herbst. Oh, there it is. There it is. There yeah. it is. This is crazy. This is, I guess, I had no clue. I had no clue about this because I always associate with Fitz with Kentucky right. and Stitzel. But it started with this guy, right. a, Mawa- a German born Milwaukee area liquor retailer named S.C. Herbst. Yeah. Yeah, so he started the Old Judge Distillery where they distilled the original Old Fitz right. in Kentucky. Um, and it wasn't actually until Prohibition that it got sold because he couldn't produce. Well, the story goes, the story goes that someone got caught on his property. According to, to Julian Van Winkle, okay. senior, this, side. this is something I discussed in the video. Um, according to Julian, he... Uh, uh, says that someone was caught stealing whiskey on uh, S.C. Herbst's property, right? Which is ironic given that the name comes from a security guard or a treasury agent oh, who sure. used to steal yeah. whiskey. Yeah, right. This the, the, tubes. The, the, new, the name comes from a guy who used to <laughs> siphon whiskey out of barrels with plastic tubes. Right. So, so ironically, the thing that undid them was that uh, someone got caught stealing on their property. They had to bottle up all their whiskey by order of the U.S. government. They went to the Weller Distribution Company, who worked with the Stitzel Distillery, and they said, hey, can you bottle all of this up for us? Must have been on a call during this portion. <laughs> <laughs> and so Stitzel Weller went on to buy the brand at a very cheap cost oh, yeah. from these guys because they were in a hard spot. Yeah, but, and that's funny, too, because... They say it was sold for forty thousand. Then you read numbers; it was sold for twenty-five thousand. And then you read further, and it was sold for two chunks of five thousand each <laughs> over a period of two years. It's like, okay. yeah. Either way, it was sold. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, Sancho Wa and Sancho Glitza. Um, that's that's AJ Lopez, our good friend. Thank you so much. Go to my gut and. Uh, Benjamin Eves, look at him. It is the old man. Everyone's excited to see you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. It will, awesome. It'll wear off. <laughs> Brand new to the channel. Thank you so much for rolling through. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay. But yes, so he named it after a dude who used to steal his whiskey, right. but had really good taste. Right. He sells it to Pappy right. and uh, A. Philip Stitzel. Right. So who they were already brewing. Right. So, well, they were distilling. distilling. Yeah, they were already distilling. And then they make it a weeded mash bill. Right. Right. It's a little sweeter. A little sweeter, a little more smooth, rounded, as they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then they throw it into these American white oak barrels Mm -hmm. that were bigger. And they had more stabs. I mean, these things were massive. Mm -hmm. And then they let it sit. And boy, does it become the oak bomb. That everyone became came to know and love. It was the it was the flagship of the fleet. It was yeah. That which is so funny considering today it's kind of a value brand, right? Like the the prime is kind of like yeah. bottom shelf, okay, yeah, yeah. you know. Old Fitz. But old Fitz was the thing, right? Like the thing is, people are go crazy about like old Rip and the Pappies these days, but like the crazy thing was that old Rip stopped being produced before Prohibition. And then only got picked up after Stitzel Weller got sold to what would become Diageo. So back in the day, old Fitz was like, was the king. that was the rip of the time. Right. That was the thing. Right, right. Oh, my God. Everyone's so many super chats. Teach Ardolino. Thank you so much, my dude. He says, uh, Jen and him love the channel. That's awesome. And the content and the people behind it. Oh, wow. I grama cree. I go to my I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Tim Evans says it was an old Weller Antique, a 107 Dusty, the squat bottle. Oh my God, those old squat bottles uh, from his father-in-law that took me down this path five years ago. That's ah, awesome. Cool. And 2-Bit says, welcome back. I assume to you because I've been around. <laughs> yeah. Your face is synonymous with everything that we do. Yeah. yeah. Sugar Kitty says Quercus Alba. Yes. Uh, but I can't remember what... What's the other one? Quercus Alba, Quercus Mongolia, Quercus Gariana, and I never remember what European oak is called. There's another one, and I have no idea what it is. All right. So. Uh, Prohibition. 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 They sell to Stitzel Weller. Stitzel Weller takes it over. Now, this is interesting, because yeah. during Prohibition, all the distilleries, all the breweries, all the whatever were shut down. Except. Except about 12 distilleries and why? Because they're making medicinal whiskey. whiskey. It's like that. It's like the uh, the Simpsons, where they're the Prohibition era commercial for Duff, where it's like only Duff puts pure beer goodness in your Cuso. <laughs> much like that. Yeah. Oh, Jocelyn Kravitz, thank you so much. That's awesome. Um, but yes, so they're making medicinal whiskey when they come out of Prohibition. Now they start can start making commercial whiskey again. Right. Um, and then actually, they make four different ones. At the end of Prohibition is when Stitzel Weller actually becomes a real thing, because up until that point, it was there was the Weller Company who contract distilled at the Stitzel Distillery, but in 1933-34, they actually form, come together and form the official Stitzel Weller Company. Cool. So, which is fun. So bef now, before we get into the 1960s, which is where we're really going to oh, yeah. start talking about this, yeah, right. and we're going to open this up, oh, wow. before we do that, before we open it, and before we talk about that, let's do our first giveaway. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah so This is exciting. So first, first I, giveaway of the evening. I've put my name in twice. Yeah, before. right. <laughs> um, so first giveaway of the evening is only for patrons. All right. If you want to get in on another one of these giveaways... Come join the patron. You'll get two entries, basically. Right. Um, which is sweet. Which is sweet. So we are going to give one sample just to them. I've already put together a Google Docs. So let's put up our screen right quick, if it'll let me. Three, two. Uh, let's see here. Bop, bop, bop. There we go. Perfect. All right. And then... We are just going to get a random number from Google. We're going to get around. Hey, we've got 60 people in the chat. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Random number generator. All right. So between, let's see how many people we got. One and 31. 31. One, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, one and 31. All right. So let's see who is getting our first sample. And it is... Number Ooh, 10. I see the number. Good number. Nice. So number 10 is 2-Bit Steak. My man, Johnny <laughs> McElfresh. All right. So Johnny, my man, 2-Bit Steak. Good, good on you. You are getting our very first sample of Old Fitz. So we're going to take the neck pour off for you because we're right. generous like the that. The shoulder pour. Exactly. The shoulder pour. <laughs> we lost a little angel share here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the pour level on this is actually really good for a bottle from the 60s. Oh, yeah. No, it's a, it's incredible. I've seen other bottles a little younger that have lost more. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. So you get your, you are getting a 50 mil sample coming straight to your door. We will get a hold of you by email or on the Patreon. So congratulations, my dude. Um, so awesome. All right. Should we open this up and then talk about the sixties, the sixties? Oh, psychedelic. I know. Right. Yeah. So yeah, psychedelic. It's, yeah. It's free love. <laughs> free love. Drugs. <laughs> music. Music is at its prime. You guys talk music. I know. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Can I say something though? Oh, sure. Bob Dylan fucking sucks. Bob Dylan, all you, all you boomers fucking <laughs> Love Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan sucked. He sucked back then and he sucks now. Well, 
Everyone sings a Bob Dylan song better than Bob oh, Dylan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bob, Bob can't <laughs> sing. He croaks through the stuff. It's kind of a hey, hey, yeah. But it's the lyrics. It's the song itself. It's an, what you can do with that. Because I've heard people cover his stuff. And like you said, it's just so much better. Hey, right. The no, he's a good the, songwriter. The Indigo Girls. He's a good songwriter. Oh. Or Jimmy. Yeah. But no, he can write a song. He just can't perform. <laughs> There's that. Okay. So All right. right. Let's Agent Lopez says agree. Let's not bash the 60s anymore. Floyd, like, Floyd says boo. <laughs> I'm a 60s child. So, you know, I... And Andrew Buchanan throws in another super chat. He says it's 27 years older than he is. I know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's way older than I am. Um, yeah. And go Ramaga, my man. Thank you. All right. Do you want to do the honors? No. Wait, before we do that, though, no, before we break no, no, no. the seal on this, we should at least talk about the tax stamp. Oh, yeah, 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 the tax stamp. Because sure. once we break this open, it's going to ruin the tax stamp, right? Yep. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about the tax stamp. Then we got we to gotta actually open this thing. All right. There are many ways to, to date bottles, and tax stamps are obviously one of them. There's a federal tax stamp, which there were five of them. And then we've got the state tax stamps, which is this one for Wisconsin. Yeah, let's hold that up so people can see it. It's actually shaped like, like the state of Wisconsin. Can we get this to focus? You can kind of see it. It's shaped like the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, it's Which, orange, white, green, it's and cute. black letters. And it's cute. Not letters. It's numbers. Yeah. All numbers. Cheech, Cheech agrees with me. <laughs> Thank oh, you, Cheech. Okay. Oh, very good. Uh, Bob Dylan was a good writer, horrible singer. <laughs> <laughs> good writer. Yes. I agree um, with that. Uh, we did. I'll put them up on our Facebook. I'll put them up on the Facebook. Okay. Because you can't really see them here. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I wonder. Trust, trust me, there. Are... I do have examples of tax stamps from other bottles, so you can kind of see what we're talking about. Right, and they changed throughout the years. There was a thirty-four to forty-four edition, a forty-four to sixty, a sixty-one to seventy-seven, seventy-seven to eighty-two, eighty-three to eighty-five, and then they were disbanded. Right, which is sweet. So now our tax band on there uh, is from the sixty-one to seventy-seven vintage. And why? How can you tell that, Pop? Well, on the sides, right here, there's uh, like stars, the little uh, little sunbursts. Yeah. And there's also by the eagle's foot, which is on the top, but you really cannot see it. There's a uh, a series one one two, and I had to in take a picture of it and enhance the picture in order to see that. So series one one two, series one one two on oh. the top by the eagle's left foot. Yeah, I can't see that at all. No, it, it took me a long Holy time. Holy crap! That's that must be tiny. It is okay, and it's because this bottle is so old. It's got a lot of patina to it. Sure. So yeah, you can tell it's kind of old because it looks old. Right now, the tax stamp is the second thing that makes it look old. The third thing that you came up with. Was the Stitzel Weller? Stitzel Weller, yep. Which means it has to predate 1972, the year they sold the Van Winkle family sold it, and it became Old Fitzgerald. Right. Now it's interesting to to, to realize that they sold this because bourbon during the 70s, late 60s, mm -hmm. 70s, it was a dying industry. Nobody was drinking bourbon. They were right. all drinking beer or vodka. Or vodka. Vodka but was yeah, huge. I remember back in the 60s, beer was king. It was just crazy. I like Sugar Kitty says. Stars and eagles and exploding stamps. Yeah, it's the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Bubble Bath is in. Good to see you, my man. Go subscribe to Bubble Bath if you haven't already. Now, the Wisconsin tax stamp. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little weird, too. Yeah, this was this one I remember being hard to figure out. Yeah. Sir, uh, 60 stamps had serial numbers without letters. Mm-hmm. White uh, were black, white, and green. Uh, had orange and printed in orange. Right. So we've got the green, the black, the white, and the numbers with no letters. Right. And the weird thing is, though, that we figured out, because I was looking at someone who does, who collects minis, mm -hmm. and specifically like Jack Daniels minis, and they were talking about the tax stamp. If you can see here, the tax stamp on this goes green, white, orange. For anything in the 1960s, like two ounces, two ounces a two yeah. ounce mini was flipped. So that was green, white, orange. So it would be green on the bottom, white in the middle, orange on top. But for half pints, it was the reverse of what you did for minis. Right. So the half pint had half pint on the tax stamp and then green on top, orange on bottom. And the two ounces was printed much larger than everything else. Right. So, yeah. 
So weirdly and enough, that, that minis was, minis were completely different from how they did half. And price. they started that in '62. Yeah, mm. weird. Anyway, so that that gives us a, a window of when this thing, you know, should be anywhere from '62 up to '72. So ten year window. Ten year window so far. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Now the third giveaway on this was the proof. Mm -hmm. Now, Pappy did everything bottled and bonded at 100 proof. Right. Our bottle is an 86.8. Yep. So it's not one of Pappy's. Well, it's not bottled under Pappy. But, right. And this is where it gets interesting. Hey, Cohen, good to see you. Sorry, we're talking here. I'm not I'm not keeping up with the with the chat too much. I apologize. We're we're just rambling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big time. Um, but yes, so Pappy, anything bottled under Pappy had to be a hundred a hundred proof. Right. But right. Pappy dies in sixty-five, gravely ill in sixty-four. Yep. Um Julian takes over, he does two things. He proofs it down from a hundred to eighty-six point six, which gives him like 28% more volume to mm -hmm. sell. Right. Brilliant. I love that. Yeah. And then he changes the label to Prime. Now, Prime... And, and on it's, well, it's no longer bottled and bond right. because it's, it's got it, proof down. Right. So. But our bottle does not have Prime on the label. So somewhere between the change in the label mm -hmm. and Patty's death, right. when they started to water this down, this bottle had to have right. been bottled... Yes. And distributed. And that's that's the weird thing we figured out, was that this bottle, so it has to have come after 1964. Pappy is on his deathbed. He dies in February 1965. So they had to start releasing this when he was on his way out. Right. Which is sad that the old man, <laughs> they <they're> kind of <laughs> scavenging over his corpse a little bit, but whatever. Um, I'll, I'll try to do you better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding my breath. I know, right? Um, <laughs> So they so they had to release this 1964, but everything released in the 70s, which was the other time, like late 60s, early 70s, had Prime on the front label. Right. It and said this, Prime underneath here. And this one does not. This one does not. So I'm thinking 65, 66. Right. Because the first editions, the first editions. Uh, oh, Gary White, Goramagut. Thank you, my dude. And John T. Gut. thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Cheers. This I, I think it's interesting. I'm glad. Yes, the, doing the detective work on this was amazingly fun. <laughs> I had a great time. Okay, but that, that narrows it down. But the other thing that I realized, looking at old pictures, whiskeyid.com oh, yeah, was super yeah. helpful for this. Looking at old pictures, this is a first edition of the old Fitzgerald Prime. Notice on here, so this is this they released in like a little booklet kind of thing, mm -hmm. a little book box. This does not have the word prime on the front label and it's aged eight years. Right. Oh, yeah. That's, right. Right. So, but on the back label, which I don't know if I have a picture of, unfortunately. No, I don't. But on the back label, it says prime. But all half pints from Stitzel Weller were released without back labels. So, you can't, right? No label. <laughs> no back label. So. No prime on the front. There's no prime on the front, no prime on the back. 86.8 But proof. it's 86.8, and it's eight years old. Which is a which anomaly. Which means it has to have been after the first edition, but before they put prime on the label. Right. So, that puts us somewhere between 1965. Five and 1967 at the latest yeah. at probably at the latest was about 67 um so that's an old bottle it's an old <laughs> ass bottle that means <laughs> it was the the youngest stuff in here had to be what that would have been distilled in 60 what Maybe no, 59. 59. 59. 58. So, 57, yeah. 58, 59. Well, in the heyday of predating me. <laughs> yeah. So, definitely in the time that. Not by much. That Pappy would have been. Just, well, not distilling when, when Pappy was in the ownership. Right. Right. Uh, oh, thank you, Paul. That's awesome. So glad you loved it. Yeah. So, I know. We did a lot of work on this one. <laughs> we so, should yeah. have got a string board. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, this is a particularly unique bottle of yes. Old Fitzgerald. Yes, this is weird. It is not, not only is it old, it is a very, it is, there was only a couple of years where this could have possibly been made. It's, it's a transition. It's bottle. a transitional bottle between yeah. the original Old Fitz bottled in bond and prime, right? This is as cool as it fucking gets. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's like Christmas and Easter and I know. birthdays all rolled together. Let's break this thing out because we're going to need to give this a while to open up. It's been sitting in this bottle since forever. <laughs> God knows where this bottle's been. Here. I know, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I, am I doing it? You are. Oh, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to ruin the tax stamp too much. Oh, just, yeah. Oh, this is this is creaky. This I don't know if it's gonna rip proper. Ah, uh, it's not. <laughs> this thing's so old. It's so old and corroded. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on. You realize <laughs> there goes Eileen's college. Education. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was I was saying this is the most expensive bottle I've ever bought. It yes. definitely is. This yes. is easily the most expensive bottle I've ever bought. <laughs> But it's a piece of history, and it's kind of unique. You can, I you know, love, you, yeah. You, you just don't get this every day. This is super cool. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, little fella. Oh. And again, I'd like to thank Tim. <laughs> yes, thank you, Tim. <laughs> I'm trying not to ruin this pretty ego if I can help it. Oh, this glue is so old, though. It's like sticking. It's really sticking. Oh, I forgot one last thing. One last thing that helped us identify this. And Amy Bohm, thank you so much. Oh, the Thank you so much. Go to Mugga. Thank you. Five bucks. That's are, are we, awesome. Are we talking the serial number? The serial number. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the original, the original Prime, Old Fitz Prime, the first edition label, all of those had one serial numbers, or at least the beginning had one serial numbers. Right. Old Fitz in the 70s had three. Three. Had a three as a serial number. So that has to put this dead square in the middle. Our, our bottle's a number two. So this is a two four seven five, meaning it had to be right at the end, middle to the end of the sixties, which puts it right where we were thinking. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's cool. All right. Okay. This 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 did not pull off all that well. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Corkscrew. The car. Get a screw. Get a screw. <laughs> Erica, if you're listening. Oh dang. I was scared this might happen. You know, you know, that's, that's, yeah. yes, please. This tends to, get us, get a corkscrew and then maybe a piece of cloth. <laughs> this tends to happen with these old bottles. When you leave them for too long without wetting the cork, this happens. This is why you give your corks a little wetting every once in a while. Whatever. That's okay. That's okay. They ought to have people just to do that every once in a while at the stores. You know, they call them cork soakers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna very. Oh, this is crumbly. Let's get the let's get the crumbly bits off first. Okay. We don't. We, this stream might run long. Oh. This might go more than an hour, depending on how long it takes me to get this out. Oh, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna be as careful as humanly possible. Oh. Put it deep so you don't tear. Oh no, I did it. I did the I did that. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. And put the next one all the way in. You think so? Yeah. I'm worried I'm going to I'm going to break it in the into the thing into the into the whiskey. Okay. We're going to take a coffee filter. We're going to filter this. We're going to send out the samples. Life will be yes. good. Yes. Life will life goes <laughs> on. Oh yeah, that's falling in. Okay. That's falling in. It's not going to come it'll, out. It'll be filtered. We will filter this before we send it out. I promise. Unless you want the cork to chew on. That would be good too. Yeah. I'm sure that thing's saturated with enough fume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, it goes. there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Not a big deal. Little cork, <laughs> little cork in our whiskey. <laughs> Mateo down there. Yeah, probably the wrong cork screw. Use a real screw. That's what I was thinking when I said a uh, screw. I was thinking a real oh, screw. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Whatever. We're not gonna worry about it. A little cork in there is not the not the end of the world. All right. Let's try. Let's try and get. Oh, I a, can't wait. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let's try and get a little non-corky bit. Well, the cork should float to the top. So. Oh yeah, there's there it is. 
There's some cork. Beautiful. Well, we're drinking a little little old fits with cork in it. All right. I'm only gonna take a little oh, bit. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you got the cork out. Yeah. Yep. Well, most of it. There's a little floating in there. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Patrick Foley says he hasn't wet his cork in a long time. <laughs> oh wow. Uh Steve says no coffee filter, just a sieve. Coffee filter will strip too many oils. Good call. Mm, yep. Good call. Yep, he's right. Uh coffee strainer, like a like, um, the metal one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll do that before we send these out. Yeah. So no worries. Good. Yes, wow. Emily. Good call. All right. That is some hearty bourbon. I'm getting cherry notes and almost like a, a candy apple. Oh, uh, when did Old Fist go to the decanter bottles? Oh yeah, that was a whole. Oh, nerd when was that? Too. Because that had to be. What was that? That was like what? Fifth. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> he knows. He's got the. He's got a. He's got so much information. I might not have that though. Oh, here they are. So uh, 66 to 72. Really? The old crockery well, that was, decanters. Okay, that was the crockery decanters. Didn't they have a glass decanter? I think they did. Before that? I wonder if that might be on Heaven Hill's website. Yeah, I know what he's talking. There's little squatty things are cool. Yeah, because I know old fits went ahead. Well, the new old fits uh, did the new bottled and bond had the same old decanter, the new older decanter. You know what I mean? New old decanter. You know what I meant. <laughs> All right, let's see if it says on here. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's a good question. 51 okay, was the cool. first glass distiller. Okay. The distillery uh, uh, decanters. All right, let's drink this son of a bitch. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a, that's a hearty bourbon. <laughs> that is. That is really. It's got that here. sweet high note, just like a soprano up over mm -hmm. the top of everything. Yeah. No, it's got that. It's got that really a really aromatic cherry kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mm -hmm. got a little cork. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, that is actually really impressive. And this is this is just after sitting for a long time, so we should probably let this open up. We should take our time with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. I'm not even sure we want to compare it to the new old Fitzgerald. I, we shouldn't. <laughs> the, yeah, the, I was going to say we should drink that first. This is I'm going to well, say this is opening up because we were thinking. No, no, we shouldn't drink this first. It'll ruin our taste. Buds. Oh, that's true too. No, this smells okay. nothing like. The new version of Old Fitzgerald Prime smells nothing like this. Okay. Get a whiff of this. Just have a smell. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Not even close. Not even close. Wow. Not even remotely close. Uh, oh, Erica says, we just hit 1.9 thousand subscribers. That's pretty good. That's I, pretty damn good. I was hoping for 1.9. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, get a, he says get a stopper in there. Okay. Do we have a little tiny stopper, maybe? Something. Just oh, yeah, so. You got a coin to drop it on the top? Yeah, we could do a we could do a you gotta let well I figure we gotta let it open up anyway. Stop around the back. There we go. That'll work for now. Yeah. That'll that'll work for now. Um good call by the way. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who are paying attention. <laughs> um I can't get over this nose. I get oh my what is it? It's not just cherry though. There's another fruity it's, it's almost there. like a uh, candy apple. Candy apple, yeah, yeah. It kind of is caramel apple, yeah. yeah. Caramel apple with a hint of like blueberry or something. There's another fruit there that I. Oh, Erica's on top of it. We love you, Erica. Yeah, yeah. Erica is is the hero oh, that's cool. that this stream does needs, that's but not the one it deserves. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, that looks so cute. That's beautiful. Like me. That's fantastic. No, Thank not. you. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you, Erica. Um, it's woody. It's tobacco-y. Yes. But there's um, there's a melon. There's, there's some, some other fruit in there. There's some other fruit, and I'm saying that's why I said blueberry. But it, it's not. It's not yeah. blueberry exactly, but it's, it's like date. It's like date, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, now right now we're at one point now. Now we got to shoot for two thousand. Okay. Yeah, got got to hit that two K mark. I'll call my three friends and add them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, should we get a sip? Have, oh, we, have we sat here sniffing this? Yeah. Should we keep sniffing it for a while, though? It is a disco stopper. It really is. I would like to. Uh, on Gia, I don't think I have. I wouldn't be surprised if there have been some, but I'm expecting more this year, if anything. Honestly. Oh, wow. All right, hold on. That oak has added so much spice. Mm. Tannins. Sweet. If I didn't know better, I would have said this was like a port finish. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, yeah, no. <laughs> Just the amount of big, beautiful, like, red fruitiness on this. Um, wow. Do we have to give this away? Yes. Oh. Yes, we do. It's a requirement. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we said we would. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, I will treasure this little sample yes, for as yes. long as I can. Tiny Tiny Tim mm -hmm. says, "Gotta love the old bottles." He came across an extra dusty uh, Wild Turkey 101. It's still at the 12 year age statement. That's cool. Um, he says they dropped the age statement from the label in the 90s. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're definitely going to do Wild Turkey for a uh, history of whiskey video. So. We'll get into that. I don't know if we're going to find another Dusty quite like this one, but we'll still at least do it. That is the oak bomb, man. Um, that is, it's not as straight up, like, on the taste, it's not as straight up as, like, just tannic. No. As some of, like, the modern iterations of, like, the Pappy equivalent. I mean, you know what I mean. It's called Pappy now, but yeah. it's supposed to be the equivalent of what Stitzel Weller was doing back in the day. Right. It's not quite as just purely tannic as that, though. No, because it doesn't have that little dry aftertaste. No. Yeah, no. Holy crap. <laughs> I I went into this thinking, like, okay, this might be a disappointment. Like, we might come out of this being like, oh, this, it's solid bourbon, but it wasn't. It's not amazing or anything. You got a coin for me? Yeah, I got a coin for you. <laughs> I got a coin for you somewhere. Hold on. I want to cap that and let it air out a little bit, and then I want to get a blast and then taste it, and that would just be awesome. Where did all my? Oh, there they are. I can't believe we can't drink more of this. I know. Yeah. It's I'm unfortunate. Sorry. It's just a tiny little guy. I'm sorry. Well, you know. That's fun. That's easy cool. come, easy go. Yeah, right. I'm glad we had the. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, I'm glad we had the opportunity to at least do what we're doing do the history and do some digging find out some information yeah and get a taste which is awesome uh also erica did say like the video if you if you haven't already <laughs> thank you for thank you and, and mention my name specifically that's <laughs> mike with a capital m yeah right <laughs> uh we are not in illinois sir we are in milwaukee that's uh north of illinois like exactly. it's it's in canada <laughs> <laughs> um Stanley, sure, yeah, I'd be happy to. I, yeah, I'm, I'm always down to come on uh, something. Erica says, oh, we're almost at giveaway time. Ooh. Okay, sweet. Now, this has got to be somebody who's currently... Somebody who is currently in chat. Okay. And here's what you got to do. You have to say in the chat, I want that fits. And Mike is good looking. No, shut Add up. For shut it. up. <laughs> okay, shut up. Just, just, I want that fits. I want that fits. Okay. Okay. That's all you got to say. Um, but here's the trick. You can't say it right now. Erica is going to set the start time. So because of latency between StreamYard and the chat, oh, yeah. we're not doing that because as we'll never see it. We time. tend to miss things. We, right. we will miss people. We won't get them in. It'll be bullshit. So <laughs> Erica is going to put up in in the chat, right? Giveaway is starting. Anyone who says after that moment, I want that fits, has an opportunity to get in. And when the giveaway is over, Erica will put in all caps again, giveaway is over. I am glad after she's that point, doing this and not me. After that point, it's a cutoff. Yeah. I know everyone's already saying I want that fits. <laughs> Don't say it now. Say I shouldn't have said it like I did. Say it when Erica starts the competition. 
which uh, will be just a matter of minutes. Uh, do we have two dislikes? Uh, that's too bad. Do Sean and Dan not like us? Do, do they? Do the bourbon junkies not like us? Mm. That would be sad. I don't know. I don't know. I hope they I'm, don't. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Okay. Everyone who just said, I want that fits, wait till Erica starts. Wait till Erica starts. She's she's about to start it. So wait till Erica starts, then say, I want that fits. And we will reiterate when that time is. So Erica, whenever you're ready, start it up. Erica? <laughs> Give her a second. Okay. Give her a second. Yeah, I know there's a, a bit of a lag. And she's got a lot to do. <laughs> so, that's cool. Leslie Mouse is probably Dylan fans. Yeah, probably. So typos don't matter. Yeah, typos don't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're first or last, as long as you say. Erica put Erica put it up. All right. Let's let, let's Erica's gonna do her thing. She's gonna put it all in the Google Docs for us. So Okay, cool. I want that fits. I want that fits. I want more of that fits. Yeah. It's pretty fucking good. It is. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I, I've drunken a lot of your stuff. I've drunken all my stuff. <laughs> it's just, yeah, this is Cheech threw in a delightful. super chat. I want that fits. Not necessary, but thank you. <laughs> AJ Lopez says, no. Okay, that's cool. You do you, man. Wow. <laughs> And so did Brad Bushin. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think Erica's going to leave this open for five minutes. So we'll see. We'll see how many entries. Five minutes, and then she's going to have to write down everybody's names. So it's going to be a minute. Okay, okay people? It's going to be a second. Right, right, she's right. got to get all of your names into the Google Doc, and then we'll be able to pick a winner. Right. <laughs> and until then, we'll entertain you. Or we're just going to sit here quietly drinking. I would like that, too. Yeah. yeah I just, is, is there anything we've missed? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you were you were telling me a few things earlier, and I, I was going to remember. I, but no, oh, I yeah. kind of forgot. Yeah, not a problem. You know, it's interesting. It does remind me of like there's kind of that little bit of like that Dr Pepper thing going on here that you get with an like an older, really tannic whiskey. Now, Rob at work was telling me Mountain Dew was started as a whiskey replacement. Yeah. 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 And he said that was during those times. And he said something along the lines that it tempered what many of the distilleries did. I don't know how that works. Or I, what I don't know about, about that. I know, like, I mean, soda really became a big thing in uh, Stanley Wagner. Yes, it's only one entry. The second entry was just for patrons. So if you want two entries for next time, you got to be a patron. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Wagner. His rules. My rules. Too. I know. Um, <laughs> it just says Ardbeg. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, but Mountain Dew originally referred to moonshine. Okay, sure. Right? Oh, yeah. Mountain oh, Dew. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this explains the label on the old Mountain Dew bottles where the guy was had the, uh, the jug. Yeah. And right. he was running up the hill to the outhouse. Right. It was, and so Mountain Dew was designed as a whiskey chaser. Yeah. Like a lot of sodas were during the Prohibition times okay, to that, cover that's, up that's, shitty air sats moonshine. Sure. That's the link. There we go. Uh, that's cool. Tiny Tim is asking for suggestions for a bourbon rookie. Um, he's saying he likes the weeded. He loves the makers. And uh, the, uh, I believe that, what is that? That's Green Label Weller, I believe, if I remember correctly. Mm. Um, oh, that's that's Mama O'Mara, I think. I think that's yeah, Mama is. O'Mara. Hi, Annie. How are you doing? Thank you. Thanks for watching. It's uh, my first time on video. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kilko says that's why he drank so much Mountain Dew, to get him ready for whiskey. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, but yeah, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was like started as like a chaser okay. for whiskey, if I remember correctly. I think you're probably right. Yeah. You know, Rob Ed said something along those lines. But, yeah. You know, I was drunk. I was at work. Yeah, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. And Lone Wanderer says Larsen is really good. Weeded bourbon. Oh. Um, and that's actually fun because that's also inspired by John E. Fitzgerald and his penchant for thievery. <laughs> oh, hence the, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Les Leslie McDowell says she gets soda, grape soda from some Eagle Rare barrels. I get... Um, I get 
like Dr. Pepper sometimes from like George T. Stag, the Stag products, especially. Maybe it's just because they're very, very tannic, you know? You just kill yours? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. This was yours. You're drinking mine, so I want mine back. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I just killed mine. I'm done. That was uh, very pleasurable. Mm -hmm. uh, glad we did this. I'm glad we got the bottle. I'm glad uh, we did a little digging and history of. I'm glad so many people have joined us. That's I know. Awesome. This is, this is the most people we've had in for a stream ever. Well, that's so cool. that's really cool. So um, I, I hope all of you have entered to win a sample. Yeah. And, well, oh, and giveaway ends. And you won't be disappointed. Erica, Erica, put it up. Giveaway is over. If if you haven't been if you haven't gotten your shit in by now, too late. I'm sorry. Them's the rules. You know, it takes me a while to type. I'm sure other people have that trouble too. You know? Yeah, right. I want. <laughs> you should have given them a couple extra minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, we've only we only got one bottle of Larceny Barrel Proof at my store, a single one. Wow. So. Good luck finding it. If I mean, it seems like a lot of people can find it. Just not here. But just not here. Wisconsin gets kind of screwed on this shit. Uh, we could, we could 100 bucks for Junior? That's a little heavy, man. I don't know if I'd do that. I think it's going for like 60 around here. Yeah. I, if, if you were said, I found $100 for George, George T., I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, buy that shit. <laughs> but if it's Junior, I don't know. Maybe not. Um... But yeah. Oh, um says it's the same in Alabama. Yeah, some states tertiary markets just get fucked when it comes to this stuff. It's true. Can you say that? You shouldn't say that. I mean, I probably shouldn't say it, but can I say it? Yes. Well you can. Yeah, all day long. Because you know how to form vowels and consonants and you know I have the ability to say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I There's, certainly do. I probably should not. Yeah. Especially with mom watching. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forget that. Uh, AJ Lopez, he, he'd pay a hundo for a junior. That's fair. I mean, that's fair. I like Stag Junior, but, yeah. Wow, Stag Junior's $200 in Florida? What? Yeah, well, that's supply and demand. Those old people drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they got nothing else to do except drink and wait and to eat. die. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Eating's a big thing. You, know, you plan oh, the breakfast man. and you start right after breakfast planning the right. lunch. And, you know, yeah. That was... Okay, you gotta smell this now that it's sat for a minute though. This is why I'm taking my time with this. I, I don't I don't want this to go away. This is mm -hmm. there's a there's an interesting you know how you're saying that oak yes. gives it a spicy note? Mm -hmm. There's a slight, very slight that green vegetal note. I was gonna say, is that raisin? It, well, raisin too, right? Like there's yeah. a it it smells like it could have been finished in sherry or port. Right. It's fucking crazy. Um. Oh no! YouTube is only letting Erica go so far back in the comments. Okay. Ooh. So we're gonna have to do it from Streamyard. All right. That's bad. That's bad timing. That's okay. We'll see how far she got, and then we'll fill in the rest from here. Because, uh, yeah, that is really unfortunate that that, that YouTube is like that. Um, so, Erica, did you put them in? Did you put who you have, who you got into the, into the Google Docs already? Because we're going to have to go back and see how many, <laughs> how many she missed or how many YouTube won't let. Don't worry, folks. We are going to take as long as it takes to find the winner for this. As long as it takes, I'll, I will be on. I know you got to work tomorrow, so yeah, you can head out. Yeah. But I will be on as long as it takes. This is like the presidential election. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't bring up politics again. Every time we do that, we get in trouble on here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, worst comes to worst, you know, you could pawn this in all night and let people know tomorrow. I could. That's less fun, though. It is less fun. Oh, that's less but fun. But if you got to type in a thousand people. It's not going to be a thousand people. I don't think. I don't think. Um, yeah, when did she start that? 
I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I can't see if any if there's any names in the Google Doc. Unfortunately, let me go ask her. You keep the people entertained here. You can have some of my old. Fits. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Keep the people entertained. I will go. And no, Patrick, we're not starting over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one more time. All right, I'm very tempted to to, to take another sample out of the bottle. I won't. I'll just drink his and he'll go without. I don't know. But uh, yeah, what do you want to talk about, people? Um, some people don't know who I am. I'm Eddie's father. Um, child of the 60s, obviously. And let's see what's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll sing. <laughs> Won't even do that. Oh, that's funny. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about this little glitch, uh, but yeah, they will get the names in there. And it depends on how far back we need to go. I'm glad you all joined us. It's uh, quite a few there. Um, yeah, it's going to be weird. But uh, well worth the wait if you want to wait. And if you don't, and you got things to do, places to go, people to see, or just like me, you're well, well past your bedtime and need to get some sleep in. You know? Okay. I'll understand. So what happened was, and we do have similar laughs, it's true, Cole. Um, what happened was, Erica didn't realize YouTube was going to put a cap on how far back she could go. Yep. And so many people entered yep. that... It went past how yeah, far back she could go yeah, very quickly because she thought she could just have everyone do it and then she would just go back and enter it in and yeah. but instead of doing it live yeah that didn't work because you, youtube is dumb so Ooh. what i'm going to do right quick is we're going to enter we're going to keep chatting we're okay. going to keep chatting i'm going to keep drinking this did you enjoy it it's <laughs> mine did. now i did yes all right so i'm going to go back <laughs> sorry we're not going to be able to respond to your comments for a minute well, I'm not at all. So. Um, so, I'll, I'll change that for next time. Um, and I am going to go back and find everybody who did who and uh, entered in, and we're gonna we're gonna make this work. Well, why don't we take a random number between however many people put down? I want that fits. Yeah, but I still. I mean, I have to count them up. Count right? them down. Okay, yeah. that'll work. That'll work. And Let's then do we that. Do a random generator and count them down again. There we go. And hopefully the random generator comes up with the number one, and we're we're done. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! What YouTube? Are you effing kidding me? Fuck Streamyard. Are you dead serious? Fuck Streamyard. You know what? Streamyard made this fucking impossible. No. Uh -oh. Now what? Fuck StreamYard. StreamYard put a cap on how many comments we can see. Oh. All right. Can we go back and view the comments? To Steve me? A can do it. Oh, Steve. Steve A's amazing. Steve A can take care of this. So, if you guys don't know Steve, I met Steve up in Minneapolis. Steve A was saying that he can go back and see all the comments. Was it Minneapolis? No. Um. So what? Steve. Oh, no. Was, Here's the problem, um, Jeff Griffin. If we do it again, if we do it again... Are we actually going to be able to see the comments? Because everyone was commenting so much, are we right. actually going to be able to see them? I don't know. Okay. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. He heads. Heads. We let Steve A figure it out. Okay. Tails. We let Steve A figure it out. No. Tails, we do it again. We do it one more time. Oh, and... And then we keep track. All I want everyone in the chat, because of these stupid caps, comment once. I want that fits. Comment. Oh, Steve A's almost got the list ready. Steve A, you glorious, beautiful, wonderful bastard. Bastard. <laughs> Ooh, where is he? You yeah, no. lovely crap, son of a bitch. You just saved our asses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I met this man who's still America in Madison. And just a plethora of knowledge and just a wonderful guy. A little loud at times, but you know what? It was good. <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> eh, well, I am too. It's not a big deal. All right. All right. So, Steve A just saved our bacon. Um, so, it looks like... Oh, and Power of Bourbon sent me the list too. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. You guys are awesome. P 
people, okay, people are coming out of the woodwork to help out. That's awesome. You guys are right. super cool. So thank you, Power of Bourbon, and thank you, Steve A, for helping us out. You guys are fantastic. All right. I will, well, let's see. I've got the list here, so we'll give Steve A a minute just mm -hmm. to finish up his list. Yep. I trust him to take care of it. Um, and assuming we get his, because his is a little more organized, these are just the straight comments. Sure. So unless we have to use these, I prefer to use the list. Right. So we'll go by Steve A's list. And otherwise, I'm going to break out these comments. What happens if Steve wins? <laughs> well, then... <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> Everyone's going to think we're a bunch of assholes. Yeah, right. Next time, we're going to like do an email or, or a survey off, I was off say, of the every, fucking... Everybody can email you and you just tabulate the emails. Yeah, we're going to have to... Let's see what Steve comes up with. And if that works... We'll be good. We'll be, yeah, we'll be good. We'll Otherwise, be good. we'll have to go to the email thing. Exactly. Well, no. no. If, if, if Steve doesn't work, we're just going to go on this. Oh, okay, right sure. Here. Because yep. I've got yep. I've got yep. the yep. comments here now. Power Bourbon, my man, helped us out. Beautiful. Thank you so much. But Steve, you're the re real hero of tonight. You just saved our bacon. Also, Power, don't worry. Power, we we love you too. Power, you you also saved our bacon. Uh, so yes. Um, thank you to our wonderful subs. And no, you're, Erica, you're great. We love you. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for trying. Yeah, for sure. This was a this was a bigger task than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no. I, I expected twenty people. <laughs> Holy crap! We've got sixty five entries. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna do a number between one and sixty five. All right. I will show you, just to be just to be absolutely certain that we are not <laughs> um, messing or like we're not. This is we're doing this live, so. This is not preordained, I promise. Uh, where are you? There you are. We need a random number generator. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong window, though. Okay. Random number generator. 1 to 65. 1 to 65. Minus 7. We got to make sure we're sharing the right screen. There we go. Now, ooh, ooh, look at that. That's fun. That's pretty. All right. So, random number generator. What? You're saying stop, and he's got to strip out the dupes. What? What's up? The, in the comments, he's got to strip out the duplicates. Oh, he's got to, he's got to strip out oh. the duplicates. People, don't, don't do duplicates. <laughs> Once is enough. Once is enough. <laughs> like, like when you have children, you know, it's just... Yep, Steve A, she came and yelled at me. We're good. <laughs> this is a clusterfuck, man. I've, I've seen worse things. I work with computers, so. Uh, Giuseppe just says, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not 65. Not 65. We don't know how many, but it's not 65. We're, we're going to get the number pared down. We're going to figure out where we're at. Yeah. We're going to select a winner. Yes. So... One and one right now. You Let's know. talk more about this whiskey in the meantime. Oh, I'm sure. just going to drink some. Uh, I wish I yeah. You could have a little more. We only, what, we have yeah, that's half a pint. Just the shoulder. That's still the shoulder. You could have a, you could have a drop more. Just, okay. We just got to make sure we have enough. We got need to have 100 milliliters left for our two winners. Correct. So. I'm just going to taste. Take enough to get a taste and a sniff. This train has no brakes. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, we just broke 80, you guys. Mm. Fucking A. Damn. <laughs> Jay Lopez just said 69. Oh, boy. Uh, or, oh, there we go. 666. Six, six, the number of the beast. Sacrifice is going on tonight. Erica loves it when I do that. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does. I did that. I went up behind her once and did that in her ear. Like I went up like right behind her shoulder. Oh, sure. And she bit me. <laughs> she let, she was so startled. She bit me. Well, yeah, I, I was sitting here and I heard it coming from you. And I was going to bite you too. But I you know, thought that would be a bad thing in front of all these people. Hmm. So... This is really good bourbon. It's good bourbon. You know what it is? It's kind of peachy. It's yes. A little, a little okay, peachy. sure. Yeah, I know, especially on when you That's what I was looking for. That's the flavor I was looking for. I was looking for peachy. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a lot of things going. 
But yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the after taste is definitely just a little, just a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> Edward just throws up the, all right, 55. Steve, cool. my man, my wrench, my dude. Thank you. Oh, and Thrasher. Yeah, it's a good name. I didn't sing it like Maiden, but you know, <laughs> I can't do the really high. Sacrifice is going that's, on tonight. That's high enough. <laughs> You're scaring me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. Random number generator. We're going to do 1 to 55. Okay? And I'm going to share my screen. So share the screen. We got to do the random number generator. Okay, there we go. 1 to 55. And the winner is number 16. 16. Wow. Okay. Now we need to know who Steve, number 16 is. Tell us who is number 16. Oh, and also, yeah, I can't drive 55. Oh, yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Steve, help us out. Or or Eric, Steve A is sending the list to Erica. So Erica, who is it? Who's number who's number 16? I'm I've got bated breath here. <laughs> You've got whiskey breath. I got whiskey breath. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? I... <laughs> what? What? I missed it. What did I miss? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. All right. That's amazing. <laughs> what, did, what did I miss? It, it flashed up. It went away. Steve A won. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Uh, okay. Steve A deserves it, and Steve A is going to get one. We'll but split this three no, ways. We're going to give another. We're going to give another one. Just, I think we're going to give one yes. more sample. Yes. Okay. That's one more enough. sample. Because I'll, I'll stop drinking. We'll split this three ways. Everybody gets a shot. Everybody gets a shot. Steve, so, uh, bring up the random so generator. So we're going to bring up the random generator again because Steve is awesome. He gets one for sure, um, but we're going to do a second, a second one, just so everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wasn't, this wasn't there, messed there up. There is enough. For so us. we're gonna do one through fifty-five. Steve, I'm Erica. Double check Steve's work, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna do one through fifty-five. Sixteen doesn't count. If we roll sixteen, we got to do it again. Correct. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. So that, I mean, that only seems fair to me. So. All right, we got to share this screen one more time. All right, so one through 55, re-rolling 16s. And <laughs> we get low numbers, man. And 14. It's, and it's Steve A again. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work. But I, th I, I think there is plenty enough for three. We got three. Yeah. We've got enough for three 50 milliliters. So, um. So who was number 14? Who's got it? Who was 14? Is that is that who it is? Tantric Ninja? I think it I think that's I think that's who it was. I'm guessing he didn't he didn't say anything else except Tantric Ninja. So Tantric Ninja! I think is our winner, assuming okay. that's what Steve A meant. I can't actually. <laughs> Steve A, is that that's what you meant, right? That was that was Tantric Ninja was the winner. <laughs> uh yes, okay. Tantric Ninja is our winner. There we go. Tantric Ninja is our winner. Tantric. Yes. Tantric, thank you so much for participating. We love you. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us tonight. The way you're going to get your prize is to reach out to us at therotgutreview at gmail.com. Um, and that is on our channel page in the contact section. That's the email to use. Get a hold of us ASAP. Give us your address. We'll and get we'll it to you. It and I'm awesome. notoriously bad about getting samples out. But the nice thing is this being open means I have to get the samples oh, yeah. together tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That'll work. <laughs> so, congratulations, Two Bit Steak, Steve A, Tantric Ninja, all three of our winners tonight. 
That's awesome. I hope you enjoy this. We certainly did. Oh, this is awesome. For sure. Yeah. Erica's going to take a little bit off the top. Okay. And then, but we'll, but then the rest of it, we're going to cut split. between the three of you. Sure. Um, everyone else, sorry you couldn't win. Yeah, but I'm we, glad you played along. That was cool. And thank you so much for joining us. Oh, yeah. This we, was this a was, lot of fun. Oh, yeah. It was a great time. Yeah. It's, it's fun to drink with the boy again. Yeah. And it's lovely to see everybody out there and uh, see some new names because right. I've been gone forever. I know. I know he has. So, and oh, hey, the Roop. I don't know if I said hi to Roop and my cook. I don't know if I did, but yeah. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching tonight. We do really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We've got a bunch of great new content coming out. We're going to be doing that more history of whiskey. So, like that idea, yeah. yeah, make sure you tune in for that. Until next time, though, I think we're going to call it the night. I'm going to drink the last of my little sip. Sure. And I'm going to lick the glass. Exactly. <laughs> Watch later. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, you guys make sure to stay healthy, stay safe. One last thing. I did consider adding Malort to this Ooh, when, no, no, when no, the no, video no. started. I was like, Ooh, should I do it? No, I think that would be very, very rocket of me, but I'm not going to. No. This is too good. But until next time. Stay rotten. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.